technology is rapidly developing. All of these require the support of a vast, fast, and stable fiber optic network to assist technological advances so that we can soon reach the 5.0 digital era. Mora Talindo, eager to support digital technology advancement, has developed fiber optic and data center infrastructures to create a seamless digital economy. Mora Telindo is one of the largest telecommunication network providers in Indonesia. In 2000, the company started its business as an internet service and telephone card provider. In 2007, the company transformed into a telecommunication infrastructure service provider. In 2008, we established a subsidiary in Singapore, Moratel International PTE Limited. In the same year, we also constructed the first international submarine cable network that connects Jakarta and Singapore. In 2009, the company began to actively develop the second international network by building the BDM Batam Dumai Malaka underwater fiber optic cable network. In 2012, we also developed an international network of B3JS. We established six integrated Nusantara data centers are connected to hundreds of pop and high-rise buildings, as well as the entire Moratelindo network. 2014, Moratelindo strengthened its network with Metro E infrastructure. Continue to 2015, expanded business to FTTX corporate market. 2016, Mortelindo entered FTTX retail market. The Indonesian government entrusted for Palapa Ring West package and Palapa Ring East package projects. In 2017, the launch of Oxygen, fiber optic internet service to retail market FTTH and FTTX at Jabodetabek, including Pontianak, Pankal Pinang, Maidan, Bali, Jambi, Bandung, Sumarang, Palembang, Serang, and Chirabon, and also FTTX retail market at Kupang and Labuan Bajo until 2022. 2018 to 2019, West Palapa Ring Project officially started operating in March 2018. East Palapa Ring officially started operating in August 2019. Up to this point, the total cable length in the West Palapa Ring and the East Palapa Ring is 10,710 kilometers, comprising of submarine cables, inland cables, microwave towers for remote areas, and in 2020, the public service project of constructing fiber optic cable channel and cellular communication tower with Samarang City. Mora Telindo succeeded in increasing the capital structure to 2.1 billion, acquiring IPT shares and will complement our existing fiber backbone. In 2022, the company has successfully completed the construction of Phase 1 on eight priority road sections in the city of Sumarang. Until 2022, Mora Telindo had a total fiber optic cable length of 53,135 kilometers connecting Indonesia, Singapore, and Malacca. With experience in various complex projects, Moratelindo has high quality human resources. We support meaningful corporate social responsibility that can help the community to grow and be educated for a smart life. Looking ahead, Moratelindo has also strengthened its funding structure by issuing 1 trillion rupias of bonds in 2017 with a rating of single A from Pefindo and around 3 trillion rupias of shelf registration of Ijara Sukuk in 2019 with a rating of single A Sharia from Pefindo. As of 2022, Mora Telindo has also received an increase in ratings, single A plus stable outlook, and single A plus for its Bonds 1 series 
B and single A plus Sharia for its Sukuk Ijara from Pefindo. In 2022, Moritelindo officially changes its company status to a public company by listing its shares for sale on the main board of the Indonesian Stock Exchange, IDX, with the stock code MORA, with a total fund raised of 1 trillion rupiahs. With the vision to support digital transformation and actively contribute the Indonesia country into a leading society.